Hi, everyone. My name is Richard Clark, and I am the program coordinator uh, of the Masters of Science in Integrated Scientific Applications at Millersville University. And as part of our career fair today, I would like to introduce a, a few of the graduates of our program and let them give short testimonials on the kinds of things that they did while at Millersville and what they're doing now. Let me introduce Kevin Sinwell first. Hi, like Dr. Clark said, I'm Kevin Sinwell. I um, graduated in December 2015. I did the weather intelligence and risk management speciali specialization. Uh, prior to that, I got my bachelor's in meteorology, specializing in weather risk management from Penn State. Uh, uh, right after I graduated, I started as a risk management analyst at an insurance company called Assurance in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, while I was there, uh, I um, did uh, GIS analytics and catastrophe modeling and just some general exposure management to help my company place reinsurance, which is essentially insurance for insurance companies. Um, I was there for about four years and a couple of months. And then I took the position of uh, assistant vice president uh, in catastrophe modeling at a reinsurance broker uh, called Guy Carpenter in Atlanta as well. Um, reinsurance brokers act as a middleman in between insurance companies and reinsurers to help place reinsurance. Um, while I was at the program, uh, I um, increased my knowledge within the weather risk management field in terms of weather derivatives, and uh, climate and things like that. And also uh, taking a GIS class really helped me um, in my job at Assurance um, when it came time for um, the hurricane season to help create weather reports and things like that for my company. Uh, my name is Michael Post. Uh, I graduated May, 2017. Uh, my bachelor's degree was in meteorology from Texas A&M University. And after that, I went to Millersville and I went through the weather intelligence and risk management specialization. Uh, for the past two years, I've been working with travelers insurance on the underwriting side of things. Um, in fact, next month, I will be starting a new position with our renewable energy group, which mainly focuses on wind and solar energy underwriting. And uh, the MSISA program was great for me. Uh, one of the things that really impressed uh, the people who hired me was uh, my knowledge of weather catastrophe was so great. Um, in the insurance world, you know, weather related catastrophe losses are some of the biggest losses that an insurance company uh, will have, uh, particularly with its property insurance. So the MSISA program was crucial in giving me that solid foundational background uh, to really understand catastrophe risk. Um, in addition, on the underwriter side of things, uh, you're working with agents and brokers to effectively place uh, insurance coverage for insurers. So you're not just talking to other underwriters or maybe other scientists, uh, you're talking to people who maybe don't understand the risk as well, or you know, they're just trying to kind of be the middle person for uh, the insurance, insurance companies. So the MSISA program, it also has some other courses that will help you, you know, build those relationship building skills, um, you know, teach you how to talk to others that maybe don't share the same background as you. Um, I wasn't in classes with just other meteorologists. Uh, I was in classes with people that had maybe taken environmental science courses or uh, even someone who had an art background. So the MSISA program really helped me get this position and I believe will really help me in the underwriting world. Hi, my name is Shivan Go, and uh, I graduated from the MSIC program um, in, in December 2020. And uh, my specialization was, is, was weather intelligence and risk management. Uh, so the MSIC program was really great for me, uh, not just the courses, but the interactions. And I was a graduate assistant in the program and that helped me as well. Uh, in terms of my uh, career goals and aspirations. Um, I have a bachelor's in physics and before coming to the MSIC program, um, I was in the workforce for about four years. I worked with the Department of Transportation, 
uh, in bridge inspection and program management. And so when I came to the MSISA program, it was different um, from a little bit different from my background. And I did weather intelligence, which was definitely not as much in my background, but uh, I am really happy with my experience that I had at Millersville. Um, before I graduated, I, had, uh, I was hired uh, by a reinsurance and insurance broker uh, called Protective which, that I, I currently work for now in my position uh, as operations analyst. So um, we place insurance and reinsurance uh, businesses for uh, corporations, for government agencies, as well as um, other private entities. And so uh, it's been a great, uh, great learning experience for me with uh, the fact that I have this background in weather intelligence. Right now we are doing more, more traditional reinsurance placements, but um, as our company grows, I, I am looking forward to have a greater role in weather, um, weather reinsurance and uh, related products. Um, the one big thing that was that I, I, I think I got from the MSI, it was not just the classes, but the interactions of going to conferences, meeting people, making connections. And even my role um, as a graduate assistant, uh, I, I mostly work in operations now and most of the duties, the skills that I gain through my position um, as a graduate assistant, I am making a lot of use of that, trying to uh, rally people to, uh, in, in working on projects that um, people that have different interests, have different skills and making sure that everyone's understanding themselves. Um, so um, yeah, and uh, I'm looking forward to other career opportunities and other skills in, in the future. <clears throat> Thank you. Hi, my name is Michael Charnick. Uh, I graduated with a Master of Science in Integrated Scientific Applications from the program in 2014. Prior to that, I got my undergraduate degree in meteorology from Millersville, graduating in 2011. Uh, I'm currently a lead forecaster at the National Weather Service in Grand Junction, Colorado. I'm also an incident meteorologist trainee here at the National Weather Service. Uh, my specialization was weather intelligence and risk management. Um, and in this program, I was able to participate in several research projects across the country. There were two air quality research projects in California and Texas that we traveled to, taking instrumentation and launching tethered weather balloons. Uh, I also participated in a lake effect snow research project in New York. Um, and my culminating internship through the MSISA program was with the National Center for Atmospheric Research in Boulder, Colorado where I was a research project management trainee. Uh, and through the program, I was able to participate in a C-130 air quality project in Denver, uh, where we flew around the front range collecting uh, air quality data. And I got to learn the operations of aircraft projects there. And also participated in a G-5 aircraft project in New Zealand through NCAR later that summer. And we flew uh, in G5 aircraft across the Southern Alps of New Zealand, uh, learning about mountain turbulence. Um, in the end, uh, after that, uh, after a job search, I was able to land a job at the National Weather Service a couple months later. Uh, and really the MSISA program prepared me with skills in leadership and team building. And I think that's the number one thing that I took away from the entire experience was the value in taking a group of students at that time uh, and creating a well-oiled functioning team that was able to accomplish really quite a bit of science in conditions that were uh, you know somewhat inhospitable at times um, the chaos of project management and really having to sometimes apollo 13 your way through a lot of situations 
was a, was an opportunity that I think very few uh, graduate students got to experience in their time. And I think that's something that was really unique about this program for me. Um, so the value of learning quick thinking, working with partners to accomplish a mission, uh, really getting thrown into the fire and learning what it takes to operate in the real world. And these are skills that I use every day in my job at the Weather Service now. Uh, we have to brief partners. Um, we have to provide management for our staff on shift, uh, you know, especially right now during coronavirus operations. Who do you need in the building? What is worth the risk uh, of having more people in the building if there's you know, a significant weather event during the day? Um, and beyond that, decision support in high intensity situations with the National Weather Service um, are things that I directly learned how to handle through MSISA. Um, whether it be now with wildfires, severe weather, flash flooding situations where you're going to be put on the spot and partners are going to want an answer immediately and you have to use your best judgment to sort of make those calls. And I think the experiences that I had through MSISA and uh, sort of the team building and responsibility aspects were are things that help me now and will help me through the rest of my career. So. That's um, sort of where I'm at. Hi, my name is Amanda Reitbauer. I graduated from Albright College um, with an environmental science degree in 2014, where I then went to um, the Millersville the MSISA Environmental Earth Systems Management Specialization um, to kind of enhance my environmental scientist knowledge. And I graduated in 2016 while I was going through the program. I had the opportunity to have an internship at a local municipality where I were, was able to learn more about stormwater management. Um, and that kind of kickstarted my niche um, area of expertise within the consulting field. From that internship, I then got a job at um, a consulting firm, engineering consulting firm, Cedarville Engineering Group, uh, where I'm now an environmental scientist. I've been there for five years now. I do things from environmental permitting, GIS services, stormwater design, feasibility studies, um, different project management proposals, development, and um, all those skills were very pertinent. And the MSISA program helped me tremendously um, with the different kind of courses that I had to take. And I work with local municipalities, um, I work with private entities and state government. And um, yeah, the MSISA program really helped me become more well-rounded for the consulting field. Hi, my name's Amanda Mitchell. Um, I graduated from uh, Millersville with the MSISA degree with a specialty in GIS. In 2015, my undergrad was in mathematics with a minor in physics. Um, right after I uh, graduated with my master's degree, I ended up getting an internship, which uh, very quickly turned into a job um, working at NOAA. I worked there for three years and then I moved on. Uh, I was actually at NOAA headquarters and then I ended up working for the National Weather Service. And then I moved on to working for NOAA uh, or NASA. And then right after NASA, I worked for DHS headquarters. And then I moved on to working now at the Department of Energy under the Artificial Intelligence and Technology Office as a, uh, the, the role's AI coordinator, but it's kind of a mix of program manager and um, business analyst. Uh, I've had roles, everything from a research uh, scientist to systems engineer to um, IT project manager. Um, uh, as far as MSISA goes, I really love the part, and this is what actually sold me on getting the, the graduate degree there, because um, I, I actually got my undergrad at Millersville um, for my undergrad. So I loved it so much I wanted to go back because really Millersville overall, hands down, great atmosphere. Everybody knows each other. It's very much a family. And outside of that, um, the degree itself, uh, it, it was beautiful in the sense that it merged operations with research. And in, in all my experience in every single job that I've been in, there's absolutely a gap 
between operations and research. You need a middleman to translate that unspoken language between the people who make money decisions and the people who actually do the research, the people who are the scientists. So you need someone with that technical knowledge to be able to talk business, right? Let me help you sell your product, but also understand that there are quality assurance issues that we need to talk about. There's IT project management issues. There's risk management that we need to talk about. So I would have to say with the degree, it's given me an insight that um, most people tend to have blinders on. They're either on the business side or the research side. And if you can be that person that can help them talk, who can create those reports, who understand that data, um, which is what I really got out of my GIS specialty. I mean, just knowing how to work with data, knowing how to program. Um, I can really feel everybody's pain on both sides. So um, I feel like that's really, really helped me uh, advance as far as I've gotten in my career. And as far as the future, um, I, I actually think I may start going back into GIS. I mean, I, I miss it, you know, to, don't take this too harshly, but the further you go to the top, the further you get away from the technology and you get away from that, that knowledge that is so valuable. Um, anyways, I hope you guys get, uh, choose uh, MSISA as your degree. Hi, I'm Amber Hill. Um, I graduated from the MSISA program in 2015. Um, with a climate science applications concentration. Um, while I was at Millersville University, I did an internship for Lake Clark National Park in Port Ellsworth, Alaska, um, doing some GIS work, which was my first real experience in Alaska, um, small remote community that you have to fly into with a population of 100 people. Um, and I loved it so much that the opportunity came up to um, apply for the National Weather Service, and I've been up here the past few years as meteorologist at the Anchorage Forecast Office, um, forecasting South Central, Southwest, and the Aleutian Chain. And I've seen so many significant weather events, um, like the first 90 degree day in Anchorage, 24-hour um, freezing rain events over the Kuskokwim Delta, and this past week um, just set a low pressure record um, for the Bering Sea. So I've been able to work a lot of these events. Um, and I think the MSISA program has definitely um, taught me a lot of skills on how to be that person, like the liaison between the scientists and the public. So a lot of things that I've worked on um, is helping to enhance our social media and how to get our messaging across to the public. Um, also help lead our decision support services team, um, and also other skills such as um, trying to understand our office and the people and really trying to focus on office culture. So this program has been great. It has taught me a lot about science, but has also really helped me understand how to connect with um, people in the public and a lot of our partners. So it's been a great experience and I've learned so much and I hope everyone else can have the same experience that I have had. My name is Colin Everyone. I graduated from Millersville in 2018 with a bachelor's in meteorology and then in 2020 um, with a degree from the MSISA program with a specialization in weather intelligence and risk management. I'm currently a meteorologist for Constellation, which is an energy company located in Baltimore, Maryland. And prior to that, I was an intern uh, for two years while I finished up my undergrad at Millersville as well as my uh, first year within the graduate program. Um, so within my role, I, I deal heavily with um, energy traders, and they are responsible for the buying and selling and managing of power and natural gas. And with that, uh, the power or the price of power and natural gas can fluctuate greatly based on a number of things. Um, the number one thing being weather. So uh, my role it primarily focuses on temperature, forecasting temperature weeks and even months, months in advance. Um, and with that, I deal a lot with risk and communication. So um, it's very important for me to properly communicate risk so that energy traders can put on positions based on what I tell them to so they can make a profit. Um, I also deal with weather derivatives, which was one of the uh, main core courses that were in, that was in the MSISA program. 
Um, so overall, the, uh, the weather intelligence and risk management sector has greatly prepared me for my job, and I'm very grateful that I, I chose that sector. So. Hello, my name is Connor Aguili. I have a bachelor's in material science and engineering from Penn State main campus and recently graduated from the MSISA program in 2020, specializing in geoinformatics. During my graduate career, I worked on a data-driven oceanography project with Dr. Kumar, and the data skills learned gave me an edge in the job market, which helped me transition to my current pre-doctoral and pointy with Argonne National Labs, where I currently support scientific research and atmospheric sciences related to aerosol cloud interactions and regional climate models. Hello everyone, my name is Dominic Hernandez. I, uh, I'm also a student, was a student in the MSISA program. Um, thank you, Dr. Clark, for how long the name is because I also graduated from the Weather Intelligence and Risk Management uh, specialization in December of 2020, just a couple uh, weeks ago. Um, and what I'm doing now, I'm a climate resilience associate for the Demex Group, uh, which is a startup parametric insurance company after interning with them for the past four months. What I learned uh, first semester in the MSISA program, uh, we had a weather derivatives course, and, and that kind of opened my eyes to all the kinds of industries that are affected by adverse weather. And to reinforce what An Amanda and Amber said before, um, as a business ready scientist, I sort of sit at the intersection between our products team, which is like the data and weather people, and uh, the markets team who actually calls and deals with our customers. Um, so whether you're a snow removal services company, property manager, a golf course, construction company, or another industry, adverse weather can drive your costs and revenue, whether you like it or not. Um, and in a nutshell, we take client provided expenses and build a multi-factor correlation model uh, curated to the weather of their past. So ironically, we don't do any weather forecasting, uh, which is funny because I've had a background in meteorology from Millersville as well. Um, and every single time I tell someone what I do, they're astounded that there's a job like that. Uh, so I'm fascinated by the implications of climate change and thankful for the exposure that the MSISA program gave me that ultimately led to where I am today. Um, honestly, I don't think I'd be in the position I am in today if it not been for all the networking opportunities I had through Millersville. Uh, I know this is not your conventional AMS student conference, but I'd encourage anyone watching this to step outside your comfort zone and make connections because you never know if it could get you a job after you graduate. Faisal, that might be you. Sorry about that. Um, so um, I am uh, Faisal Mahmood. Um, I um, completed the MSISA um, that specialized in weather derivatives and risk management. Um, got my degree in um, 2018. And um, this was overall a really interesting program that um, I should first also mention that I did my undergrad in economics at University of Maryland. Um, uh, but this was like a really interesting uh, program because it um, really helps. It helped me to um, expand my horizons and um, really um, try to like combine the business um, aspects of science and especially earth science and climate science um, um, with. Um, combines the business aspect with the scientific aspects. Um, and also um, in this program, um, some of the coursework that I've done um, focused heavily on statistics and uh, data analysis. And, um, and from that, uh, um, I uh, took uh, my own interest in learning uh, programming and data analytics. Um, and I worked on um, a project um, analyzing um, the link between temperatures and weather in Mount Rushmore National Park with a number of visitors. Um, and um, 
completed that as my um, capstone project. And then um, afterwards, I got um, a position at uh, TCS, uh, which is uh, Tata Consultancy Services, uh, which is a tech consulting firm. Um, and currently, um, I am uh, working as an uh, IT support analyst, um, which is not exactly in my field currently. Um, since they offer a, a wide variety of different uh, positions um, it, and it can be very fluid on uh, what kind of role gets assigned. Um, and I've also uh, uh, been um, continuing to work on my uh, data analytics skills, expanding upon it. And um, I just uh, completed a, another fellowship, um, a full fellowship in um, machine learning and artificial intelligence. Um, and my master's degree um, really um, helped me uh, to get an edge and to really um, understand how, um, the, how um, domain knowledge and um, understanding the, uh, this, uh, the, this, uh, the science um, along with the data really helps to um, communicate different insights that you find. So um, I'm still a, a work in progress, but I'm hoping to um, get a position in um, data analytics, uh, preferably related to climate and weather. And um, I will continue to um, expand my knowledge and look for more opportunities. Um, pretty happy with uh, my current position, but I would, I still miss um, the, um, the, the study of um, climate science and um, how weather relates to um, whatever happens in the business world in which there are so many different applications. So I, re I do recommend this program if you have any kind of interest in not just um, science, but applying science in any kind of uh, business application. This is a, this provides a lot of really good opportunities for that. Uh, so thank you. Hi, my name is Jessica Kamer and I graduated in 2018 um, in the environmental systems management um, track. I was lucky enough to spend a month in Roatan, Honduras, um, researching the impacts of climate change on the reefs down there. So I dove about three times a day, documented um, all the uh, disease that's happening down there because of climate change. We also were able to work on the restoration of the reefs with the uh, coral trees. Um, that they are working with with Reef International. Um, I was also able to do some other amazing research in Wallops Island, Virginia, where I studied microplastics. Um, that was pretty amazing to see because it's so close to uh, some of the Eastern shore, which is really hits more home to us. Um, what the program has led me to do is during my research in both of those, I was able to lead some students. So I was a graduate student, so I had a team of undergraduate students, which I directed and created my own research. So after I graduated, I actually um, worked as an adjunct professor, which I'm still doing at Harrisburg Area Community College. Um, I teach four classes there this semester. I teach under um, undergraduates biologies uh, with a lab where I have developed um, all their own labs at home where each kid gets a uh, packet in the mail and their own microscope and we um, develop our own research that way. And um, I also teach environmental science. So a lot of the stuff that I learned in the environmental systems track, I actually take that and, and um, develop it for undergraduates. And I try to show them how to make a difference um, for the future. Cause a lot of the students I work with come from um, very under underprivileged background and it really uh, helps them to boost um, their economy in their area to have this education. 
Currently, over the last year, I was also director of a nonprofit organization because we know COVID hit a lot of organizations economically. The MSISA program actually did, gave me the skills to write their grants, to get a decent amount of money for the organization that they were able to stay afloat um, and they are still in business. Um, so I learned a lot of leadership skills, a lot of specialty business skills. So no matter what I do, I can take those skills back and um, do that in my future career. Where am I going in the future? Um, one would never know because I always evolve. Um, so I love teaching in higher ed. So I'm thinking about uh, actually going back and finishing um, another higher ed degree so I can uh, teach some more. Um, I'm always on a job hunt. So I'm currently looking for a job um, and I'm hoping to teach more classes next semester. And in the summertime, I do volunteer a lot for the Murr Institute where I do animal strandings. Um, I perform some of their uh, necropsies um, and I do some work with them. So they're on the Eastern shore. So that's really where I'm at right now. Hello everyone, my name is Juan Hernandez. Uh, I went through the MSISA program with the Weather Intelligence and Risk Management Specialization. Uh, before that, I did get a degree in meteorology from Texas A&M University in 2014. Uh, going to the MSISA program, uh, honestly, it was something that I, I wasn't expecting to do coming out from, uh, from meteorology. Uh, but then I heard of this, this program from one of my professors at Texas A&M and um, you know, it was it was just something that I didn't know about, and I was like, "Oh, sure, let me uh, let me talk to Dr. Clark." So I emailed Dr. Clark, and he we had a phone call, and eventually I went up to to Pennsylvania. I from Texas, I had never been up there. Um, going out to to the program, it was it was something that it was very eye opening um, to see the you know I was in my little meteorology world, but then going out there to to see all the other great stuff that uh, that was going on. Uh, one of the things that I I took that I used quite a bit uh, was the GIS uh, experience. Uh, we use quite a bit of GIS here in, in, in the office in Fort Worth. Uh, we develop a lot of dashboards for our, our partners, uh, you know, for, for uh, school districts. Uh, winter weather is one of the things that we don't do well here. So uh, we've developed several dashboards for them. Um, I've also partnered, or I've been, been, been in, in a couple of programs, uh, national programs and, and local programs to um, kind of come up with a, a risk assessment of our population. Um, I took part of a, a, a national program that, that gave us this dashboard of information, then take that information and kind of come up with a plan to, to help those populations more at risk, whether that be uh, different kinds of, of warnings, different methods of reaching that population, or, or even different languages. Uh, I do speak Spanish. Um, so that eventually kind of steamrolled into different, you know, coming in into different programs that have allowed me to translate products for National Hurricane Center. Um, you know, it was quite a quite an active year, so I've been able to partake in a lot of those national um, national programs. Um, locally, in in my office, actually, um, we've been able to uh, come up with a, a team that analyzes this risk on a local level. Uh, trying to come up with the population, you know, where, where they live. Do they live in mobile homes? Are they uh, in single family, you know, construction, con construction? Uh, so, you know, the, the program itself uh, really opened my eyes into something else that I, I didn't really know was out there. Uh, it allowed me to, to work with people from, from different uh, backgrounds. Uh, and eventually, you know, that, that led me to, to the National Weather Service where, where I am now. Hello, I'm Tim Loftus. I uh, earned a Bachelor of Science degree in Meteorology in 2011 from Millersville, and then I got my Master's of Science in Integrated Scientific Applications, specializing in weather intelligence and risk management. That title I wear with a badge every time I tell people that. It's very long. Um, and in that program, I had a number of rich courses, like st statistical methods, um, weather derivatives, GIS, 
Um, and during that time, I was also working at a retail store, uh, trying to juggle both college and just paying for everything. And during that time, I got to thinking, well, what weather impacts consumer behavior? It's impacting the store, people shopping. Um, so that led me to a thesis um, where I analyzed historical weather with historical sales data and uh, built a model that predicted the potential store sales uh, given the forecasted weather. And uh, one of my favorite things about the program was we would go to the AMS Washington Forum and I got to present uh, that thesis and it got the attention of a couple of folks in the room. And um, one of those people were uh, contacts at AccuWeather and I got a job um, as a business intelligence analyst. They loved the thesis and they patented it. Um, it sold uh, to a number of clients. Um, Starbucks used that same analytics process. So anytime you get a trigger for pumpkin spice lattes in the fall, that's based on that algorithm, which is pretty cool. Um, so I was pretty proud of that work. I got uh, promoted to a data scientist one and then a two, a data scientist two, um, developed about nine different products for AccuWeather out in Wichita, Kansas. And I spent about four and a half years there and wanted to get out and go back home. So I moved back to Philadelphia. And um, uh, during my time at AccuWeather, I was actually using a lot of GIS technology. Weather is very spatial, and, uh, geographically dependent. So um, I was working with a lot of, G you know, S3 technology. S3 is the um, global leader in GIS software. So. I um, applied to Esri. I loved the company. I loved the software and thankfully got um, hired right before the pandemic, um, supporting state government agencies, um, ironically. So um, right now, currently I'm a solution engineer on the global business development team, um, working with account managers to support our state government agency customers, um, anywhere from Office of Emergency Management in New Jersey or Pennsylvania and Delaware to departments of health, state police. Um, you'd be surprised how much government is using science and technology into their everyday workflows. And so I'm tasked with supporting them through their questions, implementation of um, components of the technology, um, best practices on their technical guru. Um, so again, uh, I could not have gone through this path without the Mississa program. And uh, having that idea from the beginning has kind of led me through this entire path um, six years later. So pretty incredible. Chris, do you want to go? Yes. So my name is Chris Prebish. Um, I graduated with a bachelor's in meteorology in 2013 from Millersville University. And then I continued through the MSIA program with a specialization in environmental systems um, management. I graduated with that in 2015. Uh, just like what Mike Charnick mentioned and a few others on the call here, um, I was part of some of the air quality research that we did as well as the lake effect snow studies that we did up in New York. Got to experience the chaos of field research and got to you know, enjoy all the glory of that. And honestly, that's one thing that I really miss to this day is, you know, being out and really collecting that data. And that's one of the memorable moments that I would say I had in the MSISA program was, you know, performing that research. Um, so after a little few months of job search, I fell into a role at Charles River Laboratories. They are a leading global contract research organization that primarily works with pharmaceutical companies. Um, and within that business unit, I work in their uh, safety assessment and preclinical research. So I guess, you know, in the midst of the pandemic, I um, mean, you know, your, your Pfizer's and your Moderna's have gotten these vaccines out. Uh, Charles River played a major role in the research in developing those vaccines and getting those vaccines through human clinical trials and essentially to the patient. And that's, that's a lot of pride that I take in, you know, pretty much accidentally falling into working for, you know, a preclinical pharmaceutical research company. I mean, I had full intent of, you know, doing research in either meteorology realm or moving more to environmental science. I had no clue that I'd be working for a, a preclinical pharmaceutical research. Um, and, and I guess that's the major takeaway that I would, I, I would state that the MSISA program really 
you know, incorporated into me was versatility. I was able to go into a role I had no intent in filling and, and flourished in it. I practically love my job every day that I go to it. Um, you know, there's, there's some bad days, but majority of the time I love my job. Um, and I've, I've really grown in my, in my career in that. And I've turned into, um, you know, a client host when they come in, you know, walk them around the facility, tell them what we do. We have regulatory bodies that come in and inspect us and audit us to make sure we're, you know, we're compliant with the regulations. And I'm going to start moving into the role of hosting those regulatory bodies as well. Um, so, and I feel like, and I'll echo what Amanda said earlier is there really is a need to take that, you know, the science side of things and go to the business side and help bridge that gap. And that's essentially what my role is doing. And I feel like without all the tools I learned in this program, I, I wouldn't have fell into this career and I wouldn't have loved it as much as I do. You are all marvelous. I'm really amazed and I think I'm gonna stop the recording with that last comment and we can talk again.